Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're looking at Psalm 87 and it's all about Jerusalem. So I have been to Jerusalem four times. And, and I just got to tell you, uh, it is awesome to be there, to see the sites talked about in the scriptures, to walk where Jesus walked. Uh, and, and it just kind of brings the Bible alive. In fact, uh, planning on going again in a couple of years. So hopefully you can join us if that's something that you would like to do. Uh, and it's pricey, so can afford to do as well. But uh, it really is an exciting thing. Well, Psalm 87 is all about Jerusalem. And, and it's about how admired and how loved and how valuable Jerusalem is to the Israelites. And, and, and the reason is, it, it's the city where the temple of God was, the dwelling place of God. So listen to Psalm 87. On the holy mount stands the city he founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwelling places of Jacob. Glorious things of you are spoken O city of God. And uh, like I said, it's a thrill to enter Jerusalem uh, to songs of praise and to just celebrate that and be there and, and experience that. So, so I get some of the thrill. There's so much history there. But um, here's the thing. Jerusalem was esteemed by the Jews because of the temple and the temple represented God's presence on earth. Okay, so that's why they love Jerusalem, because the temple was there and it represented God's dwelling place on earth. Now, understand, God didn't dwell there. He wasn't limited to the temple, but they understood that that was his favorite place. Now, one of the accusations against Jesus was that he uh, was disrespectful to the temple. Now, why was he disrespectful? Because he said, tear this down and I'll build it back in three days. Uh, he said that because... The temple represented God's presence in this world. Jesus was God's presence in this world. He's God in the flesh. He's part of the Trinity. He's eternal. He's there. He's, you know, in, in person. He's way more valuable than the temple, and he dares to say so. And they hated him for that. And, and then also Jesus was the one true sacrifice for sin. They, they did all those sacrifices at the temple. Then those were representative sacrifices. None of them could actually forgive sins. Jesus was the Lamb of God who took away the sin of the world, who died on the cross to redeem us as the perfect Lamb of God. So Jesus kind of basically made the temple irrelevant. And then on the day of Pentecost... God put his Holy Spirit in every single believer and the apostles were bold enough to say that we are God's temple. Uh, the apostle Peter in, in 1 Peter chapter 2 says that we are living stones being put together and building up God's temple, God's house. Jesus is the cornerstone, but all of us are part of it. Uh, the apostle Paul says, since the Holy Spirit is in you, then you are God's temple. You're the dwelling place of God on earth, which is really cool, but it also means this, that everywhere we go, we represent the presence of God. Let me say that again. Everywhere you go as a follower of Jesus, you represent the presence of God, which is why you can't represent Jesus without reflecting his character, which is why it's so important for us to love well, to forgive well, to serve well, because we're always representing the presence of God. And that means that we should live our lives for his glory and his glory alone. So that said, you are more important than the city of God. Yeah, you're more important than the current Jerusalem that exists. I'm just telling you, not in other people's mindset or whatever, but theologically, you're more important. Uh, and theologically, you and I, one day, as followers of Jesus, are going to live in the new Jerusalem, which will last forever. So I hope that blesses you, hope it challenges you, and I'm praying that you have a great day.